What's good, YouTube subscribers? Before we get into it, like, share, and subscribe to the page. Now, since that's out of the way, Kyle Rittinghouse found not guilty on all charges. How do I feel about that? Well, it goes two ways. I believe he acted in self-defense. But his intentions, I believe, when he left that house, was the rock a stop box. Turn someone's TV off. You don't just say, okay, they're going to protest down outside downtown or wherever they were. I'm going to grab my motherfucking, I'm going to grab my piece and I'm going to go walk down the fucking street just for the hell of it. No. That's not what he was doing. His intentions was to provoke somebody to doing something to him so he could close someone's curtains. As Hassan Campbell would like to say. That's my take on it. Like I said, I believe he did act in self-defense, but I, I think his initial thought process was, okay, if I walk down the street with this gun, I might get some, I'm going to get some attention. And that's what he got. I think he wanted to know what it felt like to, to kill someone. I think he's, uh, I think, I think he wanted to, you know, see what it felt like to, to kill someone. I really do. I mean, I wouldn't if they're protesting here. I sure as hell wouldn't grab an AR and fucking start strolling down the fucking street unless I wanted to do some damage or hurt someone. You know what I mean? Leave in the comment leave in the comment section what you think his intentions were. Do you think that he wanted to he did that on purpose so he could, you know, hopefully act in some violence? Or do you think he was just going down there, you know, protesting his rights to open carry? Let me know. Like, share this video, and subscribe, man. Peace.